The first day of CES 2024 has brought us a lot of exciting new GPUs, CPUs and APUs from NVIDIA and AMD. NVIDIA has revealed the RTX 4080 Super, 4070 Ti Super and 4070 Super graphics cards. And AMD is launching the long-awaited RX 7600 XT, some new desktop CPUs as well as 8000 G-series desktop APUs. In this video, I'll tell you about their specifications, performance, prices and actual release dates when you'll be able to buy these products in stores. Before we proceed further on this topic, I'd like to share my favorite place to purchase affordable Windows 10 keys that are upgradable to Windows 11 for free. That is CityKeyOffer.com, my longtime sponsor. They're currently hosting a New Year sale. Use the discount code IVADIM to get a 25% discount, reducing the Windows 10 Pro price to just $16. You can then securely check out using PayPal or another preferred payment method. The key is delivered within seconds, allowing you to activate it immediately. Additionally, Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale using the code IVADIM. Take advantage of these offers during the ongoing New Year sale. Now back to our topic. Let's start with NVIDIA's RTX 40 Super refresh graphics cards. The RTX 4080 Super features 16 GB of 23 Gigabit per second GDDR6X memory, 10,240 CUDA cores and 320 Watt TGP. However, NVIDIA claims that the 4080 Super will actually use around 246 watts when gaming, 22 watts to play videos and 15 watts when idle. Its price is the most exciting thing about the RTX 4080 Super. The graphics card is launching on January 31st at $999, which is $200 less than the RTX 4080. The RTX 4070 Ti Super features 16 GB of 21 Gigabit per second GDDR6X, 8448 CUDA cores and 285 Watt TGP. NVIDIA claims that it'll consume an average of 226 watts when gaming, 17 watts to play videos, and 12 watts when idle. The memory capacity increase is the most noteworthy feature of the 4070 Ti Super. Thanks to the 16 GB of memory, I can now recommend this GPU for a 4K gaming PC build, unlike its 12 GB cousin, the 4070 Ti, that is a bit too powerful for 1440p, but doesn't have enough memory to be a proper 4K gaming graphics card in 2024. However, Nvidia still markets the 4070 Ti Super as a 1440p gaming solution. I guess that is true if you want to play your games at well above 120Hz or with ray tracing enabled. The 4070 Ti Super is launching on January 24th with a $799 price tag, officially replacing the RTX 4070 Ti that previously occupied that exact MSRP. The RTX 4070 Super is offering enhanced value to the mainstream GPU market. It features 12 GB of 21 Gigabit per second GDDR6X memory, 7680 CUDA cores and 220 Watt TGP. Nvidia claims that it'll consume an average of 200 watts when gaming, 16 watts to play videos and 11 watts when idle. The RTX 4070 is officially receiving a price cut down to $549. The 4070 Super will take its place at $599 MSRP on January 17th. Nvidia has provided some performance comparison charts, however I don't find them helpful at all, because they don't feature any RTX 40 series graphics cards. Pause the video if you want to take a closer look. In the absence of any useful data we actually want to see, I've calculated the estimated performance of the Super GPUs and created this comparison chart so that we can better understand what to expect from the new cards. Comment below if you think that the companies should share more transparent and relevant performance charts in the future. The 4080 Super at $1000 looks somewhat palatable. If you've been waiting to get an NVIDIA GPU for 4K gaming but didn't want to pay $1200 for the 4080, then the 4080 Super might be the graphics card you've been waiting for. The 4070 Ti Super is pretty much replacing the RTX 4080 at a lower price. 
and the 4070 Super is just plugging the gap between the 4070 and 4070 Ti. AMD's announcement of the RX 7600 XT is a game changer, offering a slight improvement over the RX 7600, but its standout feature is undeniably the substantial 16GB memory capacity, all priced at just $329. The new GPU will be available to buy from January 24th. This substantial memory capacity sets a strong foundation for future-proofing, particularly for 1440p gaming, ensuring ample space for textures and visual enhancements. AMD has showcased some 1440p as well as 1080p benchmarks, where the 7600 XT beats the RX 7600 by quite a lot in some cases. But realistically, I think we should expect a 4-6% performance increase on average at 1080p. At 1440p, the performance uplift might be a bit higher in games that are held back by the smaller 8GB memory capacity of the RX 7600. But I wouldn't expect the double-digit uplift demonstrated in this AMD slide to be the norm when testing a larger list of games. The company is definitely trying to show the RX 7600 XT in a favorable light here, so I'd recommend taming your expectations a little bit. Moreover, I think the $330 16GB RX 7600 XT makes the 8GB RTX 4060 Ti look stupid with its $400 price tag. So, Nvidia, maybe it's time to do a price cut? And finally, AMD is launching the Ryzen 8000 G-series APUs based on Zen 4 architecture paired with RDNA 3 graphics on AM5 socket. The $329 Ryzen 7 8700G is the most powerful product in this lineup, featuring 8 cores and 16 threads, 5.1 GHz boost, 65 Watt TDP and Radeon 780M graphics with 12 compute units. According to AMD, the 8700G is powerful enough to provide a 1080p low settings gaming experience comparable to the GTX 1650 desktop graphics card paired with i5 13400F. It is followed by the $229 Ryzen 5 8600G, featuring 6 cores and 12 threads, 5GHz boost, 65W TDP, and Radeon 760M graphics with 8 compute units. The least exciting products are the $179 Ryzen 5 8500G and Ryzen 3 8300G because they come with just 4 compute units which is not very good at all if you want to play modern games at 1080p resolution. The 8500G has a 6-core 12-thread CPU, while the 8300G has a 4-core 8-thread CPU. The 8300G will be available through system builders only by the end of Q1 2024. Other 8000G processors will be available to buy from January 31st. But AMD is not done yet. They've announced several new Ryzen 5000 series CPUs based on Zen 3 architecture that will keep the AM4 platform alive in 2024. Those are the 8-core 16-thread Ryzen 7 5700X3D at $249, 8-core 16-thread Ryzen 7 5700 at $175, 6-core 12-thread Ryzen 5 5600GT at $140, and 4-core 8-thread Ryzen 5 5500GT at $125. The new CPUs will be available from January 31st. If you enjoyed this video, then please take a second to like it and subscribe for more. Also, let me know in the comments which products are you happy to see and which of them suck, in your opinion. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.